Welcome to the bold analysis. I want to ask you a question. Gadomo Muchomba wa Mushomba is the voice of Discord in the mountain. And she has taken a position and many people thought it was about the finance bill. But I think it is very clear that she has taken a very clear position that William Ruto is actually conning Mount Kenya people. And it's clear, it doesn't depend on whether the others support her or not. She's willing to fight it, even if she's going to fight it alone. And so my question is, do you think she's going to... What is the potential of Gadono Mushomba having the position of people's defender? I'm going to answer that question in this analysis. But first, let's look at um, this latest development. On Saturday, there was um, the farmer's day in Gidungure. And she was she's saying that immediately President William Ruto arrived there. There was some room, of course, um, for debrief briefing in terms of what what's going to happen now normally what happens here is when politicians before they go to address people in public there is normally a meeting for debrief to organize on the speeches what is going to be their tone what is going to be their narrative so that they realize you find out that what that lady is saying is not what this lady is saying and just to go there to play politics of course it's for political rhetoric why that, that debrief is done. So she's saying that immediately Ruto went into that room with Rigeti Geshagwa flanked by other leaders. She was locked out of that meeting. And that cannot come by surprise because I think she's already, even by that time, she was not in good terms with the president. And again, she was not given kind of she was mistreated that's what she's saying she's saying that she was mistreated clearly telling the president to get a shadow they don't value women around them <laughs> yes she came out and uh, and i think she's pulled a very interesting card that whenever they try they will try to attack her she'll pull the 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 the, the gender card that she's being attacked on because of that remember even um, Kimani Chunga had promised that she was going to smash uh, Mushomba but immediately they got there things went south now I wanted to look at these photos in your screen these are photos of farms and uh, these farms were destroyed by the helicopter William Ruto's helicopter um, William Ruto and the other leaders that attended their helicopters were in um, landed in um, in Kangai Primary School. So during landing and takeoff, because of uh, you know um, that momentum, they smashed crops, uh, people's farms, and even those helicopters blew away rooftops of some buildings there. I even understand a boy was injured because there is a rooftop that was blew and fell on some student who had also gone maybe to witness um, what was going on there. So Gadona Mushumba is telling the leaders there that your helicopters destroyed uh, farms and also a student was injured. But it seems you guys are silent about it and you don't care that people were affected clearly calling out on the president that look here things are not fine now i know that in the fullness of time maybe they are going to respond but if you look at how gadon wamushomba has been trying to package herself she's clearly uh, trying to cut an edge and that edge is the edge of people's defender this is because she has realized there is a vacuum in Mount Kenya. That vacuum is uh, emerging because of these two, uh, the vacuum we have seen. The vacuum is 
the politicians that were unleashed to ridicule and attack Uhuru Kenyatta that Uhuru Kenyatta had that Uhuru Kenyatta had failed the region they went and told the people about that now by that time at the electioneering period they projected themselves as people's defenders and that Uhuru was wrong and so they were coming to undo to do what Uhuru Kenyatta had failed to do you know the milkman the guaranteed minimums on returns on coffee and all that in some stalled roads but by that time at campaign trail Walivai Lenguo and they projected themselves as we are the people that are going to defend but immediately power got into people's hands everyone moved back to his car and mansion to the posh uh, lifestyle and people are now back in Nairobi they have turned their vow back on the voters that is why the finance bill even presented a very good opportunity for Womushomba to remind and she was on record reminding them that look here what we are doing uh, is that we are against the people this bill is scandalous and is going to affect the hustlers she was on record saying that so she has realized that is the first vacuum no one is talking about the bottom up in mount kenya this is because the bottom up story was actually crafted specifically targeting the mountain it was not targeting any other region it was targeting the mount kenya region the other vacuum has also been created by and, and you can see an attempt by Maina Njenga to try to you know to enlighten to to chat the youth and to bring in the discussion about the future of the region has been suppressed by a narrative that he is leading a militia so successfully these fellows um in the mountain you know they have continued those attacks against uhuru and trying to and and, and have also seen the trade of dinga is not so much in the region as of during the campaign trail and i want to say this i think it is this fine um it is fine for i i'm seeing some 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 uda bloggers and and some supporters have been sharpened to hit womushomba that is the nature of a democracy let's this is a very good example you know in Nyanza, some rebel mps uh, were sharpened and to go and tell the region that they were going to be development and there are a lot of stuff and so they should leave the odm fold and leave right odinga circle now as we speak now the jalangos the elisha and the team are really shamefaced because the development the goodies that they were promised that the wallet they were supposed to help the people cannot be felt and a good example of someone from game can someone from game give us one development that has been launched there by president william ruto courtesy of a working relationship between the mp and the president the budget has been passed we cannot draw the line because this is the maiden budget this is the first budget you're going to look at it you cannot draw the line and pinpoint that in budget allocation funding for project xyz a region like even Suba, where Karoli, Suba North, where Karobi Mundi comes from, or even Uriri, or Game, or even Langata, or even Kisumu County, uh, where the good center is coming from, has benefited that they've been given development there because of working relationships. So, and you know, some of us were saying, fine, we said we don't oppose going to work with William Ruto, but you must bring the goodies if it is the platform of bringing development then the most honorable thing is to bring it but you cannot hide on development to make to win some personal fortune that was my position on this matter now on this one the mount kenya should thank womushomba and embrace her because this is a voice that has been missing pulling the people's defender position according to me
can succeed on these three grounds. And that is why it is a big threat for Regani Geshe and the team. Number one, it is going to be um, Wamushomba can create a platform or can create a center of, uh, of influence for dissenting voices to the group. Let me tell you, not everyone is comfortable with whatever is happening in this country. Even those who voted for William Ruto, when we are talking about the standard of, life, of living, the cost of living, it's affecting all of us. And that's why Kenyans are saying in Aturamba, in Aturamba water, whether you voted for Raila or you voted for William Ruto, it's it. Now in the mountain, there's already a discussion going on there. And there are some MPs that immediately, they were seem to be supporting the president by then, but then they've turned down. And this is just nine months in power. This is just the first budget. By the time when we were getting to President Tutu's third budget of the, in, in his term, uh, we shall have really gotten deep to understand what we are dealing with. So the more Gadeno Mshomba is remaining, is holding into that position, the rest of the being done to her, you know, people fear that if I go against President William Ruto, you know, I can be killed, this can happen to me. You know, there are a lot of fears around it. But her bold step to confront the president and his deputy and tell them what, what, what she thinks is her position is already testing the waters. And having tested the waters, it's shown that nothing can happen to you. Of course, <laughs> life is moving. And then it can succeed because the moment people see, even those elected leaders see that, we don't have what to show for the people. What they need to do is very simple. They just need to ask, start asking William Ruto, the president. The same thing they did to Uru Kenyatta after some two years, the Moses Kura started saying, Uru has abandoned the region, Uru is doing this, Uru is doing that. Now, uh, now let's wait. When people start asking William Ruto questions, Kadhano Mushomba will be highly celebrated. Now, her position and the Mushomba factor presents an opportunity to question Mount Kenya's take in Ruto's government or rather in respect to the promise. Let me tell you. Um, Regeti Geshagwa, the deputy president, the leader of majority, the head of budget committee, that is Lady Nyoro, and even cabinet secretaries from Mount Kenya who are in Ruto's government, they cannot ask questions. They cannot. Because they are eating and it's their time to eat. They cannot ask questions, and that is why many have been saying that Ruto is so reluctant, because what he needs to do in Mount Kenya is to go there and campaign and just simply try to make some few statements on how Uhuru Kenyatta did this to him, and he will capture the emotions of the people from the mountain. So the question of Mount Kenya's take in Ruto's government in respect to things that has done um, is well catered for. And that is why the position in which Wamushomba is, she's free. She'll be able to start asking, you said you're going to do this, this, this. So what's happening? Has it been delivered? That is one reason, well, that is the other ground in which her people's defender tag can thrive. Lastly, currently uh, there is an orthodox way of doing things happening in the mountain. And two, two, two projects going on. One, illicit brew and two, the coffee reforms. Is it coffee and tea and milk reforms? I think milk has been dropped. I think it's just coffee reforms. So, one of the things is, that has been happening is um, to get the Shagwa is going to face a backlash and he's already facing a backlash on one of their intervention to curb illicit brew is to cut down, is to close bars, which there is no difference. And I want to ask a question. If you reduce bars in a town, for example in Muranga, how does that reduce the alcohol consumption? In fact, it doesn't reduce, that does not reduce the number of people that drink. That does not change the drinking habit because people just go to the available bars and the same number 
that instead of then buying in all in quite a number but the few that are there are going to boom that's number one number two if i cannot access the bars then they will resort for the corridor liquors and of course resurgence of illicit brew will be there what i'm saying is this there's already Brigadier Gashagua's approach to this Mount Kenya problems are a bit, not Mount Kenya problems. I think alcoholism is a, is a national problem. It's not a Mount Kenya problem, as we will be want, as leaders will want us to see. It's already creating some backlash because the club owners, bar owners, have been complaining that their license are being revoked and they're being asked for bribe. And these fellows can coalesce around ideology of Omushoma. And that is why many are actually seeing that her position is one that is very clear. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know what you think. Do you think she's going to survive it? And uh, President even unveiled someone to replace her. <laughs> yes, someone was unveiled there, former MP in Gidunguri. And probably it's a very clear sign that she's not going to get a ticket. Does she know that she's not going to get a ticket? Yes, she knows. Then, She's taking the bone by its horn.